I'm Liz Spencer. I'm a photographer, a multimedia artist, and a professor, and I'd like to share my passion for creative images and how we can use them to reimagine health and illness. Now, my creative scholarship interests include visual and multimedia art that explores health issues and offers an outlet for navigating these health experiences. And my medium of choice is fine art, illustrated photography, most often. And I'd like to share a few of my works that include and address this concept of reimagining art and health. When I was a photography student, one of my first assignments in photography school was to shoot an illustrative image using an egg. Now, really, I think the purpose of this assignment was to teach us how to light an object shaped like an egg and how to explore different types of light. However, I was compelled to produce this image. This represented to me my experience with infertility. And as I shot this, I used an actual negative pregnancy test and I showed an egg cradled in my hands, representing my hopes and dreams of being a parent. But when I was making this print, working in the dark room, the raw emotion of heartache and frustration was pulsing through my fingertips. And as I saw the prints come out of the dryer, I picked one up, I stared at it, and I ripped it. I ripped the print right across the egg. I printed another and I ripped it again and again and again. And the final image includes several layers of torn eggs and my broken dreams. And another one of my favorite emotional images is titled Mourning. And this is a long exposure showing and representing the waves of grief that can rack us as we mourn. This concept was illustrated recently by award-winning journalist Dawn McKean, and she wrote in the New York Times in December 2021. She pointed out that the latest version of the DSM that's coming out actually next month in March 22, it will include a new name for a grief syndrome experienced by people it's called Prolonged Grief Disorder. And Dawn writes in her article how this is a syndrome that people experience when they're stuck in an endless cycle of mourning that can last for years or sometimes even decades. And she stares, shares several examples, stories of people that have lost someone to COVID and how they just are stuck in this cycle of mourning and grief that, that continues to wash over them. Now, a similar phenomenon can impact people if they have someone close to them that are slowly declining from a progressive terminal illness like Alzheimer's disease. Now, my, my extended family actually experienced something similar as my, my mother experienced uh, early onset Alzheimer's disease. And we were thrust into the realization of her terminal illness and those progressive symptoms, and we slowly lost her to this disease. In the years of her slow dec decline, I found momentary escape and relief by diving into creative visual projects and visualizing the impact of the disease with illustrative images, uh, videos, and, and even creative writing. I also had moments, however, of capturing the beauty and just grieving the loss in her last years as she slowly declined. After her death, we discovered a journal that she had started years before, unbeknownst to us. Uh, the cover read, A Mother's Legacy Journal. As I cracked open the pages, it was breathtaking to first see her beautiful handwriting at the beginning of the journal. Her handwriting that had, had slowly been stolen away from her. And I read the notes and stories that she left us. It was also breathtaking. She wrote about her childhood, her youth, and, and her young adulthood. Some of what she shared were stories that I was very familiar with, and some I was so surprised to read. For example, what was your childhood nickname? Who was your first crush? What have you always hoped to do that you haven't done yet? Now, these were questions that I never even thought to ask her. And halfway through the journal, her responses stop. And in these images, I'm capturing these lost pages, those unfinished stories that she didn't get to share with us. It's heartbreaking and it's beautiful. This journal will always be a priceless treasure to me. Now, in recent months, and as these months turn into years, as we all are experiencing and facing COVID, many are experiencing heightened mental health concerns. 
Now, I recently asked a friend, a healthcare worker, what, what they think of when they hear the word COVID. And they let out a heavy sigh and they just said, depression. It's just too depressing. Now, others are experiencing anxiety. This human experience that's affecting all of us in so many ways, it's multi layered. And it feels at times like it's never ending, layer upon layer upon layer, month after month. Now, as an artist, as a human being, I'm compelled to say that illustrative and creative images and art can impact how we experience illness, loss, grief, health, and mental health. And how we use art can help us reimagine and better understand health experiences and illness experiences. It can help us cope through difficulties. It can help us relate and better understand one another. And I'm compelled to say that images in the act of creating art can be treatment for ourselves. And it can offer healing to others. The power of images can truly help us reimagine. 